The Premier League 2018-2019 season, March day one, and of course it can never start this better and be. At the Emirates Stadium, we have Unai Emirates side Arsenal versus Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. A city side that won the league last season with 100 points, breaking all manner of records. I don't know if they will continue breaking those records against Arsenal this Sunday, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Tell us about this game. It's going to be a tough game, mm -hmm. yeah, because these are two Spanish coaches. Yeah, they have played against each other in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, so when he was at Sevilla, mm -hmm. so um, Nulkunana Venye when he was there, Venye Sevilla wali turn up. So that is actually what is giving me um, the morale going into this fixture. So um, of course, Pep Guardiola to show up his defense, um, his attack. Uh, they will be. It's a well-oiled team. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Arsenal on the other hand, uh, we brought in new players. Man we, City's well-oiled team. Yeah, Arsenal it's a, is? It's a well-oiled team. Hmm? <laughs> that, that we know. <laughs> because, yeah, they had 100 points plus. Uh -huh. Yes. It's a quite tricky fixture. For uh, City? For both teams. Oh, yeah. Because uh -huh. they will go for tactics. <laughs> and at least we know Unai Emery, at least he changes his tacts midway. Mm -hmm. Not like um, his um, mm -hmm. predecessor. Mm -hmm. Tricky fixture, uh -huh. should I call it? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm at the you, but I yeah, let, let's wait. Uh, uh, City beat Chelsea two goals to nil last yes. week in the community, even though you could say that was a friendly match. It's not yeah, 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 you can say it's a friendly match. It was a friendly match. It was a friendly match. It's a friendly match, yeah. but they played good so, uh, football. Yes, and uh, it's like they have they, they 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 have picked it from where they left it last season. Season, yes. Uh, but remember, in that game, they were missing the likes of uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, but they, c they, they could still take Chelsea yes. to They toe. made an example out of, of Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> does that what uh, does what does that tell us about this game against Arsenal? They are going to completely whitewash Arsenal. <laughs> well, remember last season they beat Arsenal three goals to nil at yes. the Etihad, then they yes. beat Arsenal three goals to one at the Emirates Stadium. Yeah. How much? How? <laughs> yeah. How? I haven't said anything. <laughs> Don't I haven't said anything. So no. are we also waiting for the for three goals again? We can even three plus, mm -hmm. even four. Mm -hmm. okay, the they, they have complete just. It's like an off an on off switch. Mm -hmm. So the season ended. Kazimo Kidogo. Kazimo Kidogo. Season ends. Wakasha. Vitu bado zikotu apo. Same players. Same chemistry. Same touch and go style. I mean, and now that, completely uh, white let me ask. Like and now that you're this positive ag ag about Manchester City, yes. Where does this leave Manchester United in terms of title chase? <coughs> and that's a very good question. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> a very good question. Because I, you are you're really uh, you are really uh, praising Manchester City. No, mm -hmm. I'm praising Manchester City because first of all, I guess the, the showmanship they had against. Uh, against Chelsea in the Community Shield was completely admirable. So there's but no way Arsenal winning this one? No, I highly doubt that Arsenal win this one. And I actually honestly think it would be three goals to nil. Three goals to nil. Manchester. Four goals to nil. <laughs> Manchester City winning. Yes. Then next weekend, Chelsea beating someone again. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's someone. That's someone. Neil. <laughs> that's someone that is going to play against Manchester City. You're talking of Neil? Yes. Let's hear from Yoga. Uh, Arsenal versus Manchester City. Uh, going into this match, this is a match where by uh, Jared has said uh, two Spaniards. They are very experienced managers. Uh, Ukiangalia attack here Manchester City. Hey. Wow. Bala. Going, going Bala. by what you saw in that match against Chelsea. The brain was not there. Guys, let's, so imagine. Chelsea, let's not use Chelsea game as well. No, we well, no. no. are talking during, during, the, the, game. <laughs> during the, the community Carlo shield. Hossa. The brain was not there. <laughs> the brain was not there. Mares was there, but he looked a little bit shaky, so he yeah. looks like he was out of place. But right now, going into this match, Jesus the brain came late. Is, Jesus came late. The brain is coming back. Now, since you guys seem to be on the Man City winning, if Arsenal were to get a result, yeah. what should Emery do differently from what we are used to? The Wenger staff, 11 against 11, Nini Chezeni game, Yen, get three points if you can, get a loss if you can. What, what should em Emery do differently? Emery Strengthen his defense. Mm -hmm. the, the Strengthen his defense because the way Man City played against Chelsea. So that would mean Arsenal should defend. The, 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 they play the typical Jose Mourinho football. Pack the bus. If they can, that is. Is that, known for, is that known for Arsenal? Is, it, is, is defending the in the DNA of Arsenal? Pack the bus. That's why you brought in Torreira. 
midfield. Mm -hmm. We never have a defensive huh? midfielder. He's 22. He's he's one man. You want to play at 22 against likes of De Bruyne and mm -hmm. you he's one man. And Aguero. Did you see what this guy did to Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah. Uh -huh. he, when Cristiano they played Uruguay, when Uruguay played against Portugal, did mm -hmm. you see what Torreira did? Mm -hmm. He was sent out to Ronaldo. Man, 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 Ronaldo man. was totally toothless. So I'm uh, going into this fixture. We have that one man which we never used to have. So if City attacks us, well and good. We also have strikers who actually can run and actually Obama, can make Obama, things, Obama, yeah, mm -hmm. things like tick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they can so, talk to the the player who usually pairs Seriously, you can't it compare can't the matches. pace that Obamayang has and that of Kyle Walker. You can't compare. Kyle? You can't Kyle compare. Walker. Kyle Walker. <laughs> you Kyle can't Walker. compare. Kyle Walker. Walker. Uh -huh. Yeah. So How many people have been chasing Obamayang? No, I'm ashamed. For you, for you, for you, it looks like I'm on the set. I think I was seeing my own the set. The game is kind of, Walker, the game is kind of on City's yeah. side. So what should you do differently as an Arsenal awesome side yeah. to maybe surprise us yes. with, a, with a win? Okay. Um, if Mimi Kidogo, Uko Nyuma, okay, Mbele we are sorted. Mm -hmm. Torreira going mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he'll do with the centre backs. First of all, is Koscielny fit? No, Koscielny isn't fit. Mustafi, uh, so. Mustafi, Mustafi is there. We have Bellerin. Socrates. Bellerin, Bellerin is List. List. Bellerin is there. Yeah. The only people we are missing is Nacho Mondial and Kolasinac, I, I, but we have Maitland. So who is starting on the goal? Checo or Spina? Who do you prefer? I, I, Checo or Leno? I'd go for oh, Leno. Leno, sorry. Me, I'd go for Leno because Czech is. Porous, you know. Yes. <laughs> and against these people, because when you're not playing trickery, kido go, kido go. Remember, remember. Yeah. But remember, remember Czech is Leno, Leno has not fears a good defensive. No, no, no. But okay, Czech is not a good sweeper. That is the one thing we know about Czech. He's not a good sweeper. Mm -hmm. Leno is a good sweeper. Yeah. yeah. So he he gets out of his goal, comes and actually tries and defend the ball. So um, for me, Ukunyuma kido gapa katikati. Indoniko shaky center backs because that's how we are gonna maybe win the match. That's it will depend. So if you have good forwards and good midfield but poor defense, defense. there's yeah. a problem. Yes. Ni our center backs ndo badu mimi siko sure now because none of Socrates is going to be there. So for me, I'm worried about the ball. For me, I'd go, I'd pick. Okay, Mustafi is a bit for us, but because of the experience, so I'd go for Holding because Holding alionyesha. Uh, the he's season. He's the calm. Season yeah, he yeah. Been, he's calm, way. collected, no, no, and yeah. distribution so of the ball is, is really good. And Mustafi. Yeah, holding yeah. Mustafi, Metlin Nias, and Bellerin on this other side. Then midfield, that of course. That can give us some good. Some reason. good. Yeah. So uh, call for us again. Nil nil. Um, one one. Three one. So because we've brought in a bunch of new players, mm -hmm. this is a new coach. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to actually figure out how many players he's gonna play. A lot. And, yeah. No. <laughs> I'd be comfortable it. with a draw. Yeah, a draw will be okay. <laughs> we don't want to lose you this really match. You will be comfortable I, with a draw. I, I don't want to lose this match. Either a draw or a win. I, either a draw or a win for Arsenal. Yes. For him. Mm -hmm. For you, either... I'll change it slightly. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll just change my prediction slightly. Uh -huh. GG. Uh -huh. But still Man City going a bit. Yoga. Uh, so 3-1 so uh -huh. for you. It's Leo. Yes. Yes. 3-1 for you again? There's no way. There's no way Arsenal is going to turn up in this game. <laughs> so for me, <laughs> upwards of 2.5, over 2.5, even up 4-1. 3-1 or 4-1. So that's the predictions from our set. And of course, uh, you know, John has said 3-1 for Manchester City. Yoga is saying 4-1 or 3-1, but I will pick that 4-1. And then Jared, as an Arsenal awesome fan, <laughs> tend to lean on Arsenal, even though he's not sure he's going for a draw <laughs> or a slim win for the Gunners. So, uh, apart from Manchester City or Arsenal versus Manchester City game, we have Liverpool versus West Ham United. Liverpool have brought in good players, talk about Alisson, talk about, you know, Fabinho. Yeah. And West Ham Shaquille. have brought in a new, a new coach, Pellegrini, and yeah, you say, 11 new players at the London players. Stadium. So that is how things look like in the <coughs> English Premier League March Day 1, 2018-2019. Then we have St. Mary's, Southampton versus Burnley, another cracker of a game. What do you think about all these 10 games of the first week in the English Premier League uh, season 2018-2019? Talk to us on our social media platforms, our Facebook page is Final Whistle, Instagram at Final Whistle K and K and post it at Final Whistle K.